Let's see. What am I saying here? All right. Astral Radiance is finally here. And I finally get to open this Elite Trainer Box and Booster Box sent to me from the Pokemon Company International. I am beyond stoked about this set. There are a lot of really cool cards that uh, I can't wait to hopefully open in today's video. Like new Radiance Pokemon, Palkia V-Star, Dialga V-Star, and a whole bunch of Hisuian starters as well. Should be... A most fantastic experience. I'm doing this opening live on Twitch right now. So if you're watching this on YouTube, definitely make sure to scope out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every weekday. Let's get into these boxes and see what we get. I think I'm going to kick things off with the Elite Trainer Box. Here it is. The Astral Radiance ETB with the beautiful... Dark Rye on the front. I forgot. Yeah, Dark Rye V Star is in this set as well. That's going to be really cool. I mean, Dark Rye is just a Pokemon. It's like definitely a fan favorite. Yo, scope out the design on that Elite Trainer box. That is crazy. Did you like that croak in my voice? Ah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> that is crazy that is a beautiful box wow scope that out absolutely love it the design on this box is incredible you get your booklet in there it's got the whole set list okay no spoilers bro no spoilers no spoilers get that out of here you got the secret artwork inside the etb sleeve there you go boom check that out you got your you know, horse Dialga, you got your horse Palkia, you've got your uh, Husuian starters. Very cool. Well, let's see what we can do with this Elite Trainer Box. We have a prediction going on right now on Twitch. Can I open two hits out of this ETB? So that is going to be our goal. Two, two hits. Honestly, one would be dope. And I'm not counting the character rares as hits. And a code card here. Even though the character rares are honestly some of the dopest cards in the sets. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Does a character rare count as a hit? Maybe. But anyways, for the for the purpose of our prediction here. A nice little V-Star marker. Our dice. Okay. It looks like our... Astral Radiance die has like a little sparkle in it or something. It's like red. There we go. Okay. There you go. Dice. It's like uh, a dark die with some like red sparkle in there. And you can see the nice little Astral Radiance logo. It's pretty dope. It's pretty hot. Okay. Very nice. These are kind of like uh, almost looks like strawberry sherbet colored die for your damage counters. And, of course, your Poison Burn marker. Very nice. You've got your sleeves. Cool. You've got your energy. Cool. And you've got your eight packs, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very first pack of Astral Radiance. Let's go. We've got Quillfish. Look at that. Look at the quillfish. He's very handsome. Petalil. Cool. Nicket. Hippopopitus. Cindy Quill. Sweet Honey. And an Avalug. Hisuian Avalug with its massive ice ability. Makes it take 30 less damage from attacks. Look at that fella. Cool. The Gutsy Pickaxe. That is a cool new card for fighting type decks, which can accelerate fighting energy. That's pretty, pretty dope. This Duat is definitely a vibe right there. I feel that on many levels. It is a balmy 80 degrees here in Akron, Ohio today. So I'm super into that. And uh, another sweet honey. We'll save the codes. We're actually going to give away all of the codes from uh, today's opening later during the stream. So hopefully, 
hopefully if you're watching here on Twitch, you'll get to stay tuned for when we do that later in the stream. If you're watching on YouTube, well, 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 you should definitely scope out the Twitch channel because that's where I do all the giveaways and stuff. All right, canceling Cologne. My goodness. There it is. Until the end of your turn, your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities. So you can turn off uh, abilities. But then if they... Let's see. Until the end of your turn, your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities. So you could turn off a you know an ability of the uh, active Pokemon. Gardenia's Vigor. Very cool new supporter card. Allows you to accelerate some... Uh, Grass energy from your hand to your bench Pokemon. It's kind of like Welder. Feels like Welder. Except it's like grass-flavored Welder. And then Temple of Sinnoh. It's a new card. New stadium card. Completely turns off the uh, effects of special energy. So that's pretty dope as well. Very, very cool. There's a lot of playable cards in this set, which I think is awesome. You know, not just from a collector standpoint. From a collector standpoint, there are a lot of really dope secret rares, I think, in the sets. Let's see, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Bisharp, and Luxray V is our first hit. Let's go. Luxray V, 210 hit points. It's got the Fang Snipe attack for two colorless energy. It does 30 damage. Your opponent reveals their hand. Discard a trainer card you find there. So, a disruptive attack. And then Radiating Pulse does 120 damage for two lightning and a colorless energy. And you have to discard two energy from this Pokemon. And your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So, automatic paralysis. Very cool card. Very neat artwork there. I know Luxray fans are definitely going to love this one. I do need to grab some sleeves. Here we go. And you know what kind of sleeves these are, chat. They're my favorite sleeves to sleeve all of my cards in. You know what they are. I don't have to say it. The best sleeves around. Six, so that looks right there. And we've got Trekking Shoes. That's a new item card. It allows you to look at the top card of your deck, and you can put that card into your hand. If you don't discard that card, draw another card. Word, that is that is cool. Nice. Luxray, looking mighty fine there. Pseudo Wudo. Okay. Drifloon, Psyduck, Togepi. Uh-oh. We got a little something here. It's a perugly. But behind that perugly, Adaman Full Art. Yo, scope that out. New full art supporter, Adaman. Anybody in the chat pick Adaman as their, uh, you know, team leader in the, uh, you know, Legends Arceus game? Any of you guys pick Adaman? I picked Irita. But, you know, Adaman's pretty cool, okay? Allows you to search your deck for up to two cards, put them into your hand, but you have to discard two metal energy from your hand in order to do it, so... Nice little search option. Very beautiful full art supporter. And with four packs remaining, we have already hit our goal of two hits for this Elite Trainer Box. So that that is awesome. I'm really excited about that. New Feather Ball item card allows you to search your deck for a Pokemon that has no retreat cost, like... Mew V Max or Jolteon V. I absolutely love the new Hisuian Voltorb and Electrode. They are so cool. Love them. They're so cute. Hisuian Baskelin. Yo, gather the crew. This attack is awesome. I can't believe that it's called Gather the Crew. This is so sick. It's a free attack that allows you to search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them onto your bench. This is going to be a great setup card for Gym Leader Challenge format, but also just a great setup card in general. In Gym Leader Challenge format, I think this Hisuian Basculin could certainly see play. It's kind of like 
Alolan Vulpix, which gets you two Pokemon from your deck to your hand for free. Hisui and Baskelin, two Pokemon from the deck straight to your bench. An incredible setup card. And we've got, wow, character rare Bronzong. Check that out with its metal transfer ability, which allows you to move your metal energy around the board. It's got Jasmine on it. An awesome artwork. That is a beautiful card for sure. Absolutely love that. And Tsuian Decidueye, Golduck. Grant is a new supporter card. It reads, during this turn, your fighting Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. And during your turn, if this Grant is in your discard pile, you could discard two cards, except any Grant, from your hand. If you do, put this Grant into your hand. So you can recycle the Grants from the discard pile. That is really hype. And, of course... The new Hisuian Electrode. Awesome. That is that is dope. Love it. Grant is a really cool design card. I really like I really like that you can uh, you can pop a card back from the discard pile. That's super cool. And that it's just like, you know, printed straight on the cards, no versus seeker or anything. I think that versus seeker has kind of been decided was maybe too powerful of a card, so I don't think that they'll ever reprint Versus Seeker ever again. Bro, you've got to be kidding me. My son! Here he is! Galarian Zapdos V! I can't believe it! Yes! The character rare alt art Galarian Zapdos V! This is insane! Galarian Zapdos is my favorite Pokemon ever! I'm so excited! This is such a cracked opening! Oh my gosh! He's beautiful. He's got this texture on him, too. It's just such a pretty card. Oh, my goodness. And Sonya there on the bike just looking angry. <laughs> I absolutely love this card. This is so awesome. Wow. And an Arita. Wow, wow, wow. That is that is phenomenal. Wow. Galarian Zapdos. I can't believe we got the Galarian Zapdos out of our Elite Trainer Box. This is amazing. I think this was probably the one card I really wanted to hit out of this set. Uh, I have a Galarian Zapdos collection, and I'm just very thrilled about that. Wow, what a great, great pull. The Arita is a really cool supporter card, too. It allows you to search your deck for a water Pokemon and an item card, kind of like... Uh, Karina from Furious Fists, if you've been playing the game for a while. Yeah, these are these are some hits. Dang, we really got some got some good stuff going on. Ralts. Hisui and Sneasel. Absolutely love Hisui and Sneasel. I love Sneasler. Another Gardenia's Vigor and Hisui and Overquill. We've got two Hisui and Overquill. Wow, what? There's an uncommon one and a rare one. That's pretty cool. In the same pack. Commando. I'm going Commando, bro. And then Jubilife Village. It's a new stadium card. It's kind of like Tropical Beach, except it's a shuffle draw five instead of a draw to seven. Tropical Beach is one of the most expensive Pokemon cards, you know, uh, that gets played in decks. <laughs> it's an uh, expanded format card from... 2011-2012 World Championships. So Jubilee Village, a really nice card to have in the card pool. Love it. And uh, I think that Jubilee Village will see a lot of play, not only in Standard, but also in Gym Leader Challenge formats. And then our last pack of the Elite Trainer Box, we've got the new Cricket Tune with its swelling tune ability which increases the hit points of your grass Pokemon in play by 40, and Hisuian Basculegion with its Grudge Dive attack. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out, it does 30 plus 90, so 120 damage, and the defending Pokemon is confused. Very cool. Love it. That was an absolutely bananas Elite Trainer Box. We're rolling a new prediction for the Booster Box. Will I be able to open three V-Star Pokemon out of this booster box? I feel like that's a little bit of a stretch, okay? Because 
there are V Maxes and V Stars and Trainer Gallery cards in this set. I never do this. Check this out. Yeah, in case you want to see what it looks like. Yeah, that's that's pretty neat. That's the display. If you walk into a card store, that's uh, that's how you might see the cards displayed. That's kind of neat. So look at Palkia. Look at Dialga. Okay. Oh, I just I just yeeted a booster pack across the room. There's one booster pack over there that I'm gonna have to go get. That's gonna be our lucky booster pack. I'm gonna save that one off to the side. We'll go get it after I'm done opening the rest of the 35. Yeah, I literally as I threw the box, there's like one booster box. One booster pack just went. Yeah, let's uh let's go. So we've got 35 packs. Yeah, these these feel heavy. I can tell. These are yeah, these are some weighty booster packs for sure. Yeah, they're they're definitely they're, these booster packs are full of hits. Like absolutely chock full of I could I could feel the character rares and the Yeah, these are some <laughs> Yeah, these are these are absolutely gorged. These packs are gorged with hits. I I can smell it. There's our, our favorite Duat, Leafeon, Gapejaw Bug. Whenever a player puts a basic Pokemon from the hand of the bench, put two damage counters on it. That's pretty cool. Voice of Happiness. That's nice. Get to accelerate some... Uh, and not, not accelerate. You get to heal some damage from your active Pokemon. That's pretty cool. We got here Gutsy Pickaxe, Mamo Swine. Hisui and Electrode, Gardenia's Vigor. I'm I told everybody that these packs were were heavy, so listen, I'm gonna need like I'm gonna need a hit, like one out of every three packs. I'm gonna need a, a hit, okay? Mesprit, Registeel. Cool, Hippowden. There's our first dark patch reprinted for the first time since Dark Explorer is the first time ever, actually, that Dark Patch is getting a reprint. Wow. This card's like almost 10 years old at this point. Maybe about 10 years old. Pretty cool. Dark Patch accelerates darkness energy from your discard pile to one of your bench. Dark Pokemon. That is uh, that is pretty poggers. So super into that. Going to allow for Dark-type Pokemon to get powered up easier than ever. What do you got? Hisuian Braviary, Gapejaw Bog, Spicy Seasoned Curry. I'm really excited that Dark Patch will now be easily accessible for Gym Leader Challenge players because the old Dark Patch was starting to get a little expensive. I mean, it was probably, what, like 5 to $10. Reverse Dark Patch, Regilecki, and a V-Star Marker. Okay. Quilava. Reverse Dark Patch, pretty cool. Hisui and Basculin. Okay, we're, you know, we're just biding our time. All the dope hits must be, they're in the, yeah, they're they're in the rest of the packs. We got all the, all of my hits are actually in that one pack on the floor. That's where they're at. Scyther, Hoot Hoot, Cricketots, Quillfish, Bastiodon, Pilliswine, Choy. Wow. Each play, it's like Hop. It's like hop with extra steps. Each player reveals their hand, then you draw three cards. That's pretty hot. It's like a gassed up, a super gassed up hop. It's fine, it's fine, guys. Listen, listen. No hits yet. It's just all the all the hits are just patient. There we go. We've got our first hit in this pack. I've already cinched it. Drifloon. Psyduck. Bronzor. Sneasler! Yes! Hisui and Sneasler V. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Sneasler is so cool. Let's go. Poison Claws is an attack you can use for free. And you get to uh, leave your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned. And then Dire Claw does 80 damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. So... If you evolve into that Butterfree that leaves the defending Pokemon 
poison burned and confused. That's three special conditions. And then uh, 80 times 3 is 240, right? And then plus the 30 damage from burn and poison. That's 270 plus choice belts. 300 damage. And you can power it up with the dark patch. Very cool card for sure. Love Hisuian Sneasler. And it's got free retreats. It's a super swift fella. Absolutely love that. Very cool. Stoked we were able to pull a Hisuian Sneasler. First hit of the booster box. Yo, sc <laughs> scope that out. Obama Snow from the Trainer Gallery. And Full Art Garchomp V. Garchomp V. It's got 200 hit points and it's Sonic Strike Attack. Does 220 damage to whatever Pokemon you want. But you have to discard three energy from the Pokemon. But 220 snipe. That is pretty cool. And the Obama Snow has got some beautiful artwork as well. Absolutely love that. Obama Snow and the old, you know, the old geezer, whoever, whoever that old geezer is. I'm sure somebody in the chat can tell me who that old geezer is. Who's that old geezer, bro? And then Garchomp V. This is definitely the preferred. It's Pierce. Thanks. This is definitely Pierce or Price? Price. That's it. This is definitely the preferred Garchomp artwork. I don't know if you guys have seen the regular Garchomp V. You know, I don't want to be a hater, but the regular Garchomp V is a little bit... It's a little bit of a, a goober, okay? A little bit of a goober, that's for sure. Barboach, Ursa Luna. That's cool. New Pokemon from the Hisui region. Bulky Bump, 200 damage. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. That's pretty sick. It's a stage two. Yo, it evolves from Ursa Ring? That's crazy. And then Peat Hunt. Put up to two cards from your discard pile into your hand. That's pretty cool. Another Gardenia's Vigor. Nice. Really can't have too many gardenias. That card is going to be very good, I think. Excellent! Gardevoir! I love this character rare. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. Perfect for my Gym Leader Challenge deck. I think the Gardevoir is fantastic in GLC formats. Shining Arcana, a great ability for drawing cards and accelerating psychic energy. And then Brain Wave can do 150 damage for three psychic energy. Great damage output for Gym Leader Challenge formats. Unfortunately, not playable in standard, but a beautiful card. And has a very nice home in GLC formats. If you're unfamiliar with Gym Leader Challenge formats, it's my favorite way to play Pokemon cards. It's a singleton format, kind of like... Magic the Gathering's commander formats in that you can only play one of each card in your deck except basic energy. You can use any card printed since black and white. So any card printed in the last 11 years or so. Except you cannot play any rule box Pokemon. So no Pokemon V, Pokemon GX, EX, VMAX, anything like that. And then finally, you can only play one type of Pokemon in your deck. So you have to pick your favorite type of Pokemon and then build your deck around that type, just like a gym leader would. And the resulting format is incredibly fun. It has been featured at official play Pokemon regional championships, like the Indianapolis regional championships where we had over 90 players signed up, signed up for the gym leader challenge side events. It's been featured on the international stage, like at the European International Championships as a side event as well. So it's been really exciting to watch Gym Leader Challenge format grow. And I think that the future is very bright for this, uh, this fun and affordable format. So definitely make sure to check out gymleaderchallenge.com. It is uh, 
a great resource for learning all about Gym Leader Challenge formats and sharing it with your friends. Hisuian Overquill, we've got a reverse Hisuian Sneasel, another Hisuian Electrode. Okay, it's fine. No V Stars yet, but don't worry. Okay, I'm sure the V Stars are all just over here. We'll find some V Stars eventually. I'm calling it now Cleaver. I'm calling it now. We're going to get no V Stars, but we're going to get like two. Heatran V Max. <laughs> Heatran V Max is going to be the heat that we pull. We've got the reverse Hisuian Arcanine. Love that. Great for Gym Leader Challenge format at Scorching Horn Attack. Does 80 damage plus 80 more damage. If it has a fire energy attached. Oh, and it burns? I forgot about that. That's awesome. That's so good. So an effective. 180 damage for two fighting and a fire if you're able to get that fire energy attached. And then Miltank is a new wall Pokemon with its Miracle Body ability. Prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V. I think that this card is just explicitly better than Altaria and Decidueye. I mean, it's a basic, right? And then Route does 10 plus 20 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you can do... 110 damage for just two colorless energy. Absolutely love the Mill Tank. Mill Tank can also wear Cape of Toughness, right? It can wear Cape of Toughness to make it like uh, even beefier, right? A beefy, beefy cow, if you will. Oh, we got somebody in this pack. Cool. Pawnyard, and you know it's a Kamiya artwork. Love it. Did you guys get to check out the finalists from the Pokemon art competition? There's some incredible... Yo! Okay. We got the Trainer Gallery, Shadow Rider, Calrex VMAX. Check that out. Wow. Beautiful. Alt Art, Shadow Rider, Calrex. Beautiful card. Absolutely stunning pull. That is gorgeous. Check that out. Love the artwork on that Shadow Rider. Just some beautiful colors as well. The big, uh, the big Calrex there on top with its giant noggin. Yeah, let's scope that guy out. That is awesome. Beautiful hits. And we still got. Halfway to go for our booster box after this pack. I think there's also like the, uh, oh, we got another hits. Trekking Shoes and Cleavor V with its Axe Slash attack. Two fighting and a colorless does 150. Discard an energy from this Pokemon. If you do discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon, very cool. Cleaver is sick. I think Cleaver is just an awesome Pokemon. It's like a ancient Scyther, right? Does it evolve? I think it evolves from Scyther, right? Yeah, it evolves from Scyther. Ancient Rocky Scyther evolution. Our first V-Star, Hisuian Samurott V-Star. There we go. We're on the board. Hisuian Samurott has got the Moon Cleave Star ability, which allows you to place four damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And then Merciless Blade reads, if your opponent's active Pokemon has any damage counters on it, this attack does 110 more damage. So... 220 damage for just two darkness energy. Obviously, hitting Mew V Max for weakness is very good. And then Mooncleave Star can help set up knockouts elsewhere on the board and can also just place the damage onto your opponent's active Pokemon that you need in order to take a knockout with Merciless Blade. So I love that card. It's very good. 
and I think it's got a lot of potential in standard format. So definitely stoked about that pull. That is awesome. Very, very cool. We've got one, two, three, four, five. What, five hits so far? And two trainer gallery. I guess three trainer gallery, technically. And we're like, you know, just over halfway. Reverse Dartrix, Ursaluna, Going Commando, Noctowl. I forgot that all the Hisuian starters are in this set. So we could pull Hisuian Decidueye V-Star. We could pull Hisuian Typhlosion V-Star. Gardenia and Adaman in the same pack. Magneton. Another Electrode. I feel like I've seen a million Electrode, but I know Natalie is looking for the Reverse Hollow Electrode for her Electrode collection. Oh, we've got a hit here. Ralts, Nickit, Roxanne, Hisuian, Samurott, V. This artwork is actually awesome. The artist who is tasked with making Samurott look cool has a nearly impossible task because I'm going to be honest with you. Samurott is, you know, you know the deal with Samurott. I'm just saying. Of all the water starters, you know, I wouldn't put Samurott in the top seven. <laughs> but this Hisuian Samurott looks really cool. I have to give it to Samurott. Yeah, this is this is dope. Yeah, this is this is super cool. Love it. I think that Samurott definitely got cooler with the Hisuian form. That's for sure. It did. I mean, it's got a huge mustache and beard now. Like, of course it's cool. I think there was the meme of Samurott walking into a Hot Topic. Like, that's what Hisuian Samurott is. I think that that adds up for sure. A little Oshawott. Cool. Reverse Miltank and Thievel. Shield on. Silene. Flip two coins, put a number of cards up to the number of heads from your discard pile on top of your deck in any order. Poggers. You can get uh you can get stuff back from the discard pile. That's kind of nuts. If you're lucky. Hisuian Growlithe. And we've got Kingdra from the trainer gallery. Absolutely love that artwork. That is beautiful. Wow, what a stunning card. Beautiful, beautiful full art Kingdra. I absolutely love that character rares are a thing. I think it's wonderful that your non your non like you know secret rares, your non Pokemon V are getting some love with some epic full full art artwork. I think that this is like really important that the Pokemon company do this and not just like, you know, pump the overpowered you know, Pokemon VMAXs and Pokemon V Stars with like good artwork. This is like, I mean, one of my favorite things that the Pokemon Company has been doing lately. Giving regular rares, uh, you know, some, some nice artwork. Absolutely beautiful. I've been doing it since what, Cosmic Eclipse? And I think it's been hugely successful. Hisuian Lilligant and Absol. Roxanne. <laughs> and then Wait and See Turbo. You know that this is just a hairdryer, dude. This is like a, a little hairdryer energy blower thing. Fascinating. Scyther Magneton. Reggie Lucky with its retreat cost of three. Doesn't make any sense, man. Doesn't make any sense. I know that there's, you know, 
there's not a lot of crossover between the video game and the trading card game, but come on, man. Like, Registeel and Regilecki shouldn't have the same retreat cost, man. Wow, we got another double overquill. They shouldn't have the same retreat costs. Doesn't make any sense. We got this pack. EV and Tsumi Braviary. Cool. Bronzong. And don't lose hope yet, guys. We've still got the, the pack on the floor. And you know that pack's got to be loaded. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yes, we found an origin form Palkia V-Star. The best V-Star from the set by far. And now we're at two V-Stars. I'm just saying, bro. Like, we could hit a third V-Star. It's definitely possible. Definitely. Origin form Palkia V-Star, 280 hit points, and it's got the subspace swell attack for two water energy, does 60 damage plus 20 more for each bench Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents. And then Star Portal allows you to accelerate up to three water energy cards from your discard pile to your water Pokemon in any way you like. A fantastic card, seeing a ton of play in Japan right now, and a card that I definitely have high hopes for. In standard formats, really gassed up that we were able to find that origin form Palkia. Now, this is shaping up to be quite the box. We've got two V-Stars now. Can we find a third? Glaceon and Shaman in that pack, Zisu, and super effective glasses, in case you've ever wanted to make your Times two weakness times three super effective glasses are here to help you do just that. It's pretty cool. Could be played in the Reggie Lecky deck, you know, to help get some uh, gnarly one hit KOs. Chetat, Psyduck. Wow. Look at that. Alt Art, Ice Rider, Calrex V. From the Trainer Gallery, a beautiful card. That is awesome. I love, like, the minimalist style art of this card. It's just Ice Rider kind of climbing through the mountains. Absolutely beautiful. Is that Peony there with the Ice Rider and the Calrex? So sick. And Derita. Yeah, love that. That, that card looks gorgeous for sure. With like the black border, some really nice contrasts with that artwork. That just looks stunning. Absolutely love that. I mean, our booster box looking kind of stacked, dude. Kind of stacked. The hits just keep coming. Origin form Dialga V. 220 hit points and it's got the metal coding attack which allows you to attach up to two metal energy cards from your discard pile to this pokemon and then temporal rupture for three metal and a colorless does 180 damage that's pretty sick love it origin form dialga v we've still got four booster packs to go We've got a ton of hits at this point. This is like, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Vespa Queen, Miss Magius, Zisu, Canceling, Cologne, Stantler. Hippopopitus, Cindy Quill, Ponyard, Hisuian Growlithe, Hisuian Voltorb, Swinub, and Mightyena. This is actually the first Mightyena that I've found. It is the Mew Killer. Its wild tackle attack does 160 damage for three colorless energy. And if your opponent has any Pokemon VMAX in play, 
You could do it for free. There you go. The Mew V Max Slayer right there. Temple of Sinnoh, Ursa Ring, and Feather Ball. To round out the rest of the pack, if your opponent has a Oracorio in play, you're going to need a Choice Belt to take the knockouts. Hasui and Voltorb. Rufflet. Ponyta. Didn't this person win like one of the art contests? I think so. That's a beautiful artwork for that card. Bronzor. Rowlet. Keldeo. And Cleaver is our rare in the pack. Roxanne. Gutsy Pickaxe. And we have just one booster pack remaining. But it's over there on the floor, so I have to go get it. There it is. Are we about to experience some last pack magic? What do you think? We've had a pretty successful booster box so far with two Pokemon V Star. We got, what, one full arts? from the trainer gallery v max and then uh a bunch oh and then one ice rider v from the trainer gallery a full art garchomp v some really excellent hits so far but we've got one more booster pack can we pull something crazy bronzor rufflet quillfish Rowlet. Another Quillfish. Yo! Radiant T-Tran. Our first Radiant Pokemon of the opening. Very cool. It's got like... It's got a pretty neat texture, I have to say. It's definitely different. It's not the same texture as the Japanese um, Radiant Pokemon. But... It is it is neat and unique. Let's see. You can tell it's like it's got like it's not completely like flat hollow. It's got some like kind of texturing on it. And then it's got like the crosshatch thing still going on. So pretty neat. I absolutely love this Radiant T Tran. I think he's very cool. Alright, so we've got Radiant T Tran and let's see, I'm gonna take the code out. Radiant T-Tran. And then we've got Togetic. Roxanne. Magneton. Fire Energy. And... Uh-oh. 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 Last pack. Oh my! It's a Hisui and Decidueye V Star! We pulled three! <laughs> Let's go! I told you, bro. I told you the floor pack was gonna be insane. <laughs> I told you, bro. The floor pack. It was all down to the pack on the floor. We got three Pokemon V Star. And the Believers are going to be eating good off of this one. That's for sure. Nobody thought we were pulling three. We got Tsui and Decidueye, Tsui and Samurott, and Origin Form Palkia V-Star. Beautiful. Absolutely thrilled with our hits from the Astral Radiance opening. This has been incredibly hype. We got... A 1-1 Hisuian Samurott V-Star. We've got our Origin Form Palkia V-Star. We got an Alt Art Ice Rider V, Alt Art Shadow Rider V Max. We've got Decidueye, Cleaver, a bunch of cool cards from the Trainer Gallery, Obama Snow, Kingdra, and Gardevoir. I think the Gardevoir is going to go perfect in my Gym Leader Challenge deck. Radiant Heatran, obviously great for those fire-type decks. It's got an incredibly powerful attack, Raging Blast, which does 70 damage for each damage counter on the Heatran. we got a Full Art Supporter, Adman, 
Full Art Galarian Zapdos, probably my favorite card in the set. Bronzong and Luxray V. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content, just like the stuff you watched here every weekday. Also, huge thanks to the Pokemon Company International for providing this early booster box and elite trainer box from Astral Radiance for the channel. That is a huge blessing. So very thankful for that. And uh, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, definitely make sure to check out the Twitch channel because I'm getting ready to give away all of these codes to one lucky winner here on Twitch. And if you're watching on YouTube, that means you already missed it. So with that, I will leave you. Have a great day. See ya.